We have this breaking news to update the story of the 700 migrants killed after a boat capsized off the coast of Libya. The Associated Press reports that the captain and crew of the boat have been arrested. We will follow that and bring you more on tomorrow's edition of Arise America. Well, finally tonight, we take a look at how far we've come toward cleaning up one of this nation's worst offshore environmental disasters. It was five years ago that an undersea BP oil well exploded in the Gulf of Mexico. The accident killed 11 workers on the Deepwater Horizon rig and sent millions of gallons of crude oil into the Gulf and onto U.S. shorelines. Scientists are still studying the consequences to the environment. Dan Chu is the senior campaign director of the Sierra, Sierra Club's Our Wild America, and he joins us from Virginia. Welcome to Arise America, Dan. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So we know that the shallow parts of uh, the ocean out in the Gulf were severely affected. Now scientists are beginning to see and believe that the deeper areas were more affected than they thought possible. What does this mean for, uh, if you will, the recovery of the Gulf and what we thought in terms of a timeline for the recovery? Well, um, I think that's a great question. One of the things that uh, is pretty clear is that only about 20 percent of the oil that was estimated to come out of that, that uh, uh, leak ever, ever got recovered. So about 75 percent of that oil, uh, millions of gallons of it, um, uh, floated down to the bottom of the ocean. And as you're saying, they're starting to see some real impacts uh, uh, that have come up over the fact that it's now covering the bottom of the ocean affecting things uh, that are really at the bottom of the food chain that fish and marine mammals like dolphins and sea turtles really depend on for their survival. I want to talk about two aspects of the health of the Gulf, but of the, Gulf uh, the wildlife aspect, as well as the public health aspect. Let's talk with the, about the wildlife. You brought up the dolphins. Um, and there have been, over these past five years, uh, a change in the number of uh, dolphins that were born, more dolphins uh, washing up dead. Tell me how the effects of the oil in the deep sea bottom, the seabed, uh, works its way up the food chain to affect the rest of the marine life in the Gulf? Well, there's a couple of things that we think are, are going on based on some of the scientific studies uh, that are happening right now. Uh, one is that, you know, from bacteria to small uh, plankton to krill, which are small uh, shrimp-like uh, animals, they are uh, being affected by those toxins and uh, carrying those toxins up the food chain. So as, let's say, the krill are being eaten by larger animals and marine mammals eventually, um, that is being uh, concentrated in those bodies and creating some real health effects. As you said, we're seeing dolphins that are being stranded, disoriented, uh, dying at a much higher number than they were before the spill. And what about the public health aspect? Or what are we seeing in terms of particularly the workers that have helped in the cleanup of this oil spill? Well, um, I, you know, without getting into too much detail, it's clear that uh, even today, uh, in some cases, the oil that is breaking down today from, uh, you know, the impacts of the ocean and uh, being exposed to the elements is creating some new uh, unknown toxic chemicals uh, that are affecting uh, public health. In addition, uh, the concern that, that we've had ever since the spill is that that uh, oil and those byproducts are affecting and killing uh, wetland marshes, uh, mangrove trees, uh, areas that are really important for keeping the ocean at bay, especially when severe hurricane events uh, bear down on the Gulf. And so um, there's the, the public health that you talked about, but also the real uh, dangers to those communities from uh, increased uh, severe storms that are uh, in part from uh, climate change. Let me just ask you, as I understand it, the oil industry is looking at ways to drill even deeper in, in deeper parts of the ocean, go down even farther into the Earth's core to the seabed. Uh, the federal government uh, announced a few months ago uh, new guidelines, but some environmental groups say that these new rules are similar to best practices that are already in place. How concerned are you that the government and uh, the industry are learning the lessons that should be learned to prevent this kind of disaster from happening again? Well, at the very top level, the reality is whenever you go in and drill and explore for oil and gas, those are toxic and flammable uh, substances. So uh, our 
our overall message is, look, we uh, need to move to clean energy. Uh, solar and wind power are increasingly more and more affordable, in some cases uh, cheaper and cheaper than ever before. And uh, the safest thing to do is to leave that oil and gas in the ground and continue to transition this country to a clean energy future and a clean energy economy. Um, we, we believe that a lot of those uh, new safety guidelines, uh, our concerns is that they're voluntary. Uh, but once again, I think regardless of, of how much you try and prevent a disaster from happening, they will continue to happen and oil will continue to be spilled uh, from these offshore operations. Dan, I literally just have a few seconds left in the show. What difference does it make that BP reports one number in terms of the amount of oil that was spilled and other groups report the federal government reports a larger number? Well, I'd say one thing that's important to BP is that the smaller uh, amount that they can report uh, spilled affects the uh, legal fees that they need to pay in damages, both civil damages and uh, damages under the clean uh, Clean Water Act violations. So that's probably the primary reason uh, we believe that Dan, they... Dan, I've got to jump in. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't ask you the question. We don't have enough time to get the full answer, but thank you very much. That's going to do it for today. Thank you.